MC Rick, it's me, MC Rick. Let's all rise to sing our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we have at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars Time is time moving? Has time stopped? Sometimes I'm gonna get one of these these clicker clicker things just to hear it all the time, put it on the radio, and that way you know that time hasn't stopped. Like, uh oh, you ever concerned? You ever walking down the street for a minute and you don't see any changes around you? Maybe there's no cars for a second and you don't see any animals and you don't see any other people, or if you're a dog. And you're listening, you're listening to your dog, and you see a car, and you don't see any dogs. Sometimes you probably smell things. You can smell the time moving forward, but sometimes you can just uh, accidentally take a minute and, and look around and see that nothing has moved, and suddenly you think that time has stopped. So then you get one of these things. Can you hear that? Yeah, I think you can hear it. And then if you have one of those things, then you can just be sure that time is not stopped in case you're worried about that but if you have a thing that is like telling you about when time starts and stops and you don't have I mean if you have that concern if that's one of your concerns and you have a lot of other concerns maybe you should look down and make sure that you're wearing your pants because you could be like biking down the street and been suddenly oh where, what happened to time what happened to my clothes what happened to my dignity and what happened to my uh, like uh, my consciousness and values and stuff of, but maybe like you've lost like oh no I don't believe in going out without uh, without wearing clothes on I don't believe in stopping time this is against my core values so I go out and want to you know make sure I'm clothed and, and the time is continuing to move and there's not that much you can do about keeping time moving but there is something you can do about not wearing clothes or not by accident and biking on the street hopefully maybe sometimes there's not though uh, today though I think we're going to make it. I think time is going to not stop. I think I'm going to make it through this hour just like I have every other hour so far. Like, I've lived a lot of hours. You know, I, I would say a lot. Some people may disagree. But I've lived a lot of hours. and I've been on TV here for 25, 48 hours. And time hasn't stopped yet. And it's been, I've lived at least 25, 48 hours. Maybe 24 times that and more. Uh, how many hours you, we have lived that is a good it's a good time though 23 24 times I think it's 24 times that because that's one right yeah uh, so that's how how we're doing it today counting in there when you count 24 times it the one is included in there so you can times it by the number you know to start at two or zero and not count this number today is Saturday though we made it all the way through the week Maybe collectively we've, we're keeping time moving forward as a, as a, as a, as a society, as a humans. Mm. Maybe it didn't move forward so much when people weren't thinking about it. What are we going to do today? 
be guardians of time. Think about the future. Think about the past. Think about the present. Live. Be conscious beings. Fulfill. Fulfillment. Maybe we can fulfill something. Maybe we have a desire. Is there anything you want, viewers? Maybe I should have had goals. Maybe I should have set some goals. Like, I don't know if I want to have uh, goals. But I have my goal is, is to not stop time and to make it to the end of the episode. And if I had any more goals, that would be too complicated. I would like to look at the past and maybe see if anybody called. And I don't know if those things are goals or activities. But if you have too many goals, you may be too stressed out. So we could remove some of our goals and just live a life. Just live a, a relax. Can we just relax a little bit? I'm going to try to relax a little bit, and I'm doing I'm pretty relaxed. You feeling relaxed, viewers? See who's on the phone. Let's get to it. Maybe nobody. Is it nobody? I'm trying to remember what happened yesterday. I think we were watching some of those wedding videos and uh, listening to archival Mr. Ginsey messages. Oh. Well, Mr. Ginsey did try to call us. Maybe we should try to call him. I wonder if it's too late now for he's asleep on a Saturday. It is a Saturday. He could be awake early. Oh, he left a long message and it has something to do with jail. Mr. Ginsey, what, what is it? Down. Get away from my sister's shit. That'd be the only good thing about it. But, uh, my uncle said his nephew you gonna know, stick out the frickin' hurricane. And I told him I wanna buy his, your car whenever, I wanna buy your car when your son fucking fucks it up, gets it all fucked up from the hurricane. And, uh, we ended up junk. Well, I'll buy it for me. Uh, and during the hurricane, the, I told my uncle he'll probably be a grandpa. What? Right after the hurricane's over, he'll be a grandpa. What's up? <laughs> That's probably that's going to happen. Almost probably. Most probably. going to happen. Almost probably. But it might not. You never know. You never know. Hey, fuck off. It's on the borderline. Borderline, um, probably, <laughs> maybe probably, almost probably. Is this going to happen almost? Probably. Not quite probably, though, so, I mean, not probably. 
Facebook.com Hobo with a shotgun. Whoopee! Whoopee! Oh, bitch. What's going down, motherfucker, motherfucker? What's going down? What's going down, motherfucker, motherfucker, motherfucker? Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> what are you talking about, Mr. Gensu? Weird things. Kang, a question for you. What? What the fuck, over? Oh, that question, huh? Going down, motherfucker, motherfucker. Doing some other bullshit. Some other cheap. Um, cheap, cheap, cheap. He's lucky I'm around. Fuck uh, <laughs> like me. Lucky I'm bored. Yep, yep. We're on board. Uh, what the hell? Man, you know, what the fuck? Called my uncle and he ain't answered. He's doing whatever. He's alive, huh? I guess the hurricane's going north of Miami. Mm-hmm. It's still in there, but... I heard it's well, going to hit... Well, maybe it's worse than I... I, I heard it's going to hit Tampa or something? It might be a 12-foot storm surge. What do you expect? Like... Well, you know, like, or uh, just a couple of feet above the water. And he's like, yeah, <laughs> like three feet or something. Back. And, uh, and this garbage pile, garbage pile would go up 20 stories, I guess. Fuck <laughs> it. Holy fuck. How fucked up was that? Medium leave. Hey, I heard of a guy. He's building an island, a floating island. Uh huh. And it's built out of garbage. So, people in Florida look up a floating island guy and said, I want your trash. Well, I know the guy that wants it, the floating island guy. He wants your trash. He you knows how to make your trash into an island. And he's willing to do it. And he's freaking. He wants plastic bottles and stuff to help make the thing float. Right? Uh huh. I guess. So he's plastic bottles with the lid on. I don't and really know. And then freaking other folks should help float. If it's floating, he wants it. And. You take other kind of trash, anything with biodegrade, wood and whatnot. You take that shit, throw plants on it, and let the root tie it all together, and whatnot. Do it. I, I, didn't, I didn't really get that. I don't know if I should listen to the entire message one more time. Did you follow that message? So, Ken, I got a question for you. Somebody, cheap. Um, cheap, cheap, cheap. He's lucky I'm a Fire. He's not happy about those kids with the fire, something about his uncle. Uh, I don't know if we should call him back. I'm going to call him back. Let's we'll see if he's awake. If he's asleep, then he can sleep. I don't know if we're going to wake him up. <laughs> Mr. Ginsu. Oh, Mr. Ginsu. Wake his up. Wake him up. Yeah, what's going down? Mr. Ginsu, what's going down? Hello, 
Mr. Ginter, you're awake? What? Sorry. Are you awake? No. Now you're asleep? Am I asleep? Yeah, <laughs> were you asleep? Yeah, I'm sleep talking. Did we wake you up? Or did I wake no. you up? No. No, you're awake? Yeah, I'm sleep talking now. It's past your bedtime. I know. I wasn't sure if I was going to try to call and see if you're sleeping or not, but I thought you meant, like, maybe you're no, asleep. It's the weekend. I normally don't work on the weekend, so we're yeah. good. Yeah. You're not yeah. sleepy? You don't, you don't go to get, get sleepy now that if at, at, at 6? No, I'm sleepy. <laughs> For me. Yeah, it's like late. I was about ready to go to sleep. <laughs> it's like, mid, it's like a late night for you now. Yeah. Like 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, well, you used to stay up all night and not sleep ever. Right, right. Well, what, what, what can I say? Yeah. Are you are you close to those fires? You could say that, I suppose. Well, we I, still don't have to evacuate. Are, are you, like, on the border, though? Is that, like, are you in... We don't have to evacuate, so that's all there is to it. Are, are, you, you're, are, you on, like, are you on the border? You're all totally safe? Or it's not... We don't have to evacuate yet. You think it, fucked up. If it gets any worse, are you going to have to evacuate? Maybe. Yeah. Are you, are you not worried, though? Or uh, concerned, at least? Um, I don't know what I am. I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. But you, you, don't, you don't think you're going to burn down? I thought if you, were, if you were worried about getting caught in a fire, you'd be moving already. Right. Right. Probably. So you're not too worried about fire? I never have been, but whatever. Well, I'm not too worried about fire, but I'm not close to a fire. So just because, you, like, <laughs> well, yeah, it's like if just because you've never well, been. That helps. Yeah, it's like uh, you've never been worried about a fire before because there's never been fire close to you. But now there might be. I don't know how it is though. Oh, is there? They're coming for you, Kenny. Yeah, there's an emergency. Uh, They're coming for you. It's, it's scary. So you're, you're you're safe from the fire, but are you seeing the uh, smoke and stuff? Are you seeing the smoke and stuff? Of course. How could you not? Yeah. Uh, you, you said you're mad at the kids uh, that you they threw a smoke bomb down the canyon or something, and I'm not sure if I'm mad at them, but that's pretty stupid. Why did they do that? Yeah. That's pretty fucking good question. Did they catch? They catch them? They got one of them at least. Like they? How do they know who it was? Like it was totally like this one kid's fault. Uh, pretty much. They. I'm not sure how they caught him, but uh, some people said they heard giggling and whatnot. And I guess the fire started pretty soon after that, and then. Uh, um, so they freaking called the coppers and they went and found a guy. It was like a, it was like a kid though, like a, like a 10 year old or something, right? 16, maybe. 18. Oh, yeah. 18? 16, more on the 16 side. Oh, yeah. And they're gonna, they're gonna get, uh, charged with like manslaughter or something? If somebody dies... Yeah, from the fire. I think people are. No, I'm surprised that we that nobody's died from fire so far. Well, if nobody dies. You don't get charged with nothing yeah. like that. You just get charged with fucking starting fire, and I guess you probably have to pay restitution. Holy fuck! That's a lot of restitution. That's a lot. Like eighty helicopters or something. Yeah. I can't I can't remember. I think I heard a number of eighty but Did it burn down any uh houses? Huh? Did it... I, I'm sure. Uh maybe not. I don't know. I haven't heard that much. I've been too busy doing other bullshit. Yeah. Seems like why don't they just let it go? Like I guess it's, it's gonna burn somebody's house down. Yeah. But if these every like... time I go to look at the news there ain't no news on so fuck it. Seems like if the, the I think the news is fake anyway. If you turn on the uh, the if you just let it, the fire burn in the woods, it'll burn out eventually. You just let it go. Like why are they trying to stop it so much if it's in, not around people? Yeah, well if it burns too much in the woods, then it burns down the woods around the watershed. 
and the drinking water and gets into the water and then pollutes the water with freaking ashes and yeah doesn't that, that, the stuff's got to get burned down sometimes. Like the woods, they used to always burn before there were people around. Now it's burnt, never going to burn ever. Before they logged it all? Yeah, there was lots of burns all the and time. They logged it all, and now there's really not much freaking there to freaking be. Is that why this? It'll be good, though. Probably a lot of powder post beetles will die. From the Something fire? Killing the freaking trees. Killing the beetles. Yeah, a lot of dead trees out there. Yeah, they need to get burned. So, uh, I guess. Do, you, but, but do, you, do your co-workers have to evacuate? I hell if I know. You didn't hear Depends about? On where they live. You didn't hear any water cooler talk Depends about it? Depends on where they live. Depends on where they live. You don't, have to, you don't have to know where they live, but maybe they're just like, you know, at, around the water cooler or whatever your equivalent is, and they're like, I'm not in well, my house right now. I, I could tell you, but then I'd probably have to kill you. Yeah, all right. So they, they're, uh, maybe they did have to evacuate. I don't even know how bad it is. I haven't seen it. Have, have you been meeting the You're bed? not speaking in like Right now, you're talking outside of your neck. And he said something about your uncle in the message too. The one is uh, the one that you were helping navigate or something. Right, right. You remember what you were talking about? Um, his son being in Florida and not evacuating. Oh yeah, yeah. The other thing that it's in, he's in uh, Maui or whatever, Miami. I guess. He's not gonna be evacuating. So I heard that uh, he got a really nice car, and if there's a nine or ten, twelve foot storm surge, what do you think? Well, his his car. What's gonna happen to his car? I'm thinking what's gonna happen to his car. Um, if somebody's stupid enough to fucking stay for a hurricane, I guess I'm more worried about the car. <laughs> yeah, his car's gonna get blown into the river. It won't get blown in, but it'll get waterlogged. Oh uh, yeah, it'll just be in the river. It doesn't even need to get moved anywhere. Well, what about the whole place, though? Your whole life is gonna get waterlogged, not just your car. Well, it's hard to say. It could be more of a wind event than a rain event. Oh uh, yeah, I wouldn't. But if there's a storm, storm surge, will fucking fuck things up. If I had one of those fancy cars, I'd be worried about any little thing happening to it all the time. I wouldn't want to get one in the first place. Right. It's very stressful. Yeah, well, I guess they ain't too stressed out too much because he don't even give a fuck about his own life, so fuck it. Yeah, he didn't He didn't evacuate? Is, is that your cousin? That must be your cousin, right? Yeah. If he's, your, if he's your uncle, your uncle's kid... He's my nephew. He's your nephew? The kid is your... Your uncle's kid is your, uh, cousin. Nephew. Well, could be my cousin, I suppose. I, I think of him as my nephew, but... He's just younger, because he's, uh -huh. he's, he's much younger than you, so he's pretty much a nephew, but he's a cousin technically, right? Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, nephew would be like my brother's son, then, huh? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, then he ain't my nephew. Well, you can be your nephew. It's okay. He, um, that, but uh, you know him? You met him? He's gonna. He's in danger, though? Yeah, yeah, I know him. You think he's in danger? Yeah, I think he's in danger. He's, he's gonna get... You're not freaking hurricane, motherfucker. <laughs> he's gonna get blown away. I don't know what's gonna happen to him. He's gonna get a freaking... What do you call that whenever you get a lesson in life? Yeah, he's going to get a lesson in life. He's going to get a lesson of some sort. If he, li if he yeah. lives, what's the lesson? If he lives, and if, if it's bad enough, if it ain't bad enough, well, then he'll just be one of the people who just stay there and didn't have to leave or nothing. I think the, nothing happened. the lesson is don't go into a hurricane. If there's a hurricane, run away. 
figure out the lesson after Saturday or Sunday. Sunday oh, it's supposed yeah. to be getting there, I think, tonight sometime around 2 o'clock in the morning. And they already so. recorded? I heard that uh, it was going to be... Uh, the, that it was gonna move. It moved. They they predicted it was gonna go to one place, but it's going to another place, or something like that. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Uh, so if it don't go to exactly Miami, then does it? Then then it's no big deal. Yeah, I heard. Or it could still be a big deal, but you never know. Storm uh, surge, is storm surge. Everybody went. Everybody went from the place where they're going, and then the storm's gonna hit the place where everybody evacuated to, or something like that. Oh my God, Germany! Yeah. So. Hope, then, then it, you hope you evacuated soon enough that you're far enough away. They're gonna. By the time, uh, gonna get hurricane upon. That's that's pretty bad. Wasn't that? It was like another hurricane. So many hurricanes. There was one in like Texas or something, and then now this one too. Yeah, the one in Texas just fucked shit up. Oh yeah, maybe we should call. I should try to call Alabama man who's like over there, kind of by Florida. Maybe I'm gonna give him a call. Yeah, you should do that. Yeah, he's over there in, in the Florida area. Uh, you should do that. I guess I'm not too. I'm, mm -hmm. What's gonna happen to us up here in the Northwest out of, out of these hurricanes? I guess we're just gonna see it on the news and it's gonna be a tragedy or something, but. Maybe we shouldn't be gawking and mind our own business because we, I don't know why I even heard about it in the first place. Say hey, what? It's like, why are they playing that stuff on the news? Maybe it's none of our business, the, these hurricanes that are happening over there. And I don't I know. I mean, it's none of your business. Well, you want to catch a flight and go down there and then not be able to go down there and not know that there's a hurricane that you can go into? I guess if you're going to Florida, then you can make it your business, but I'm not going to Florida. And I don't have any ties to Florida or anything, so I don't, I'm not going to be going down there and just seeing it on the news and gawking a little bit like it could be anything else. Right, right. Well, there's just, there's going to be a lot of freaking work down there to do pretty soon. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're going to go down there and try to fix up places again because it's in Florida. Uh, Florida probably kind, not. Yeah. It kind of seems like a hurricane zone. If you're gonna live in Florida, then I think you gotta expect that you're gonna get a few hurricanes every once in a while. Yeah, well, this is supposed to be a monster. Yeah. It's supposed to be like a couple hundred miles, several hundred miles wide, six or seven hundred miles wide or something. Yeah, they better get out of there. Um, lots of people are getting. Know, know. Lots of people are getting displaced because they live. That's where they live, and then their homes are gonna get destroyed. 120 mile an hour winds, 150 mile an hour winds. That freaking will fuck your shit up. It's gonna destroy homes. Yep, yep. Like where, where are those people going? If you, if you was riding a motorcycle in a crouched position and you sat up straight to 150, you probably get sucked right off the bike. <laughs> you have to be make sure to hold on real tight. Uh oh. Uh, yeah. Well. Have you talked to your cousin or whenever your nephew? I have not, not lately. But you talked to your uncle, and your uncle told him told you that he's still down there. Yep, yep. And that's the uncle that's driving around all the time that you're navigating stuff for, right? <laughs> now, who who died? Didn't one of your relatives die? I thought it was that guy. Nope. Who was it? Your um, who died? That's a good question. Somebody died, though, right? Remember that? Who's gonna die? I thought you said... I, I thought that, you, like, one of your relatives... I mean, didn't... Not to be insensitive, I guess, but didn't one of your favorite relatives die? Oh, well, my aunt. Your aunt? Oh, it was your aunt. That's what I'm thinking of, yeah. Yeah, my aunt. My aunt, my uncle. Yeah, but they're, they're, they they're, weren't... They weren't, uh... My aunt, my uncle, and their daughter. They all died? Yep. It together? Nope. That's what causes they all did that old age. Oh, yeah. Um... Is that... Are they related to your uncle, who is the navigator, like, closely? Uh, still my sort of, yep. Yep. He uh, knows me. 
Right. We used to go over to their house all the time. Yeah, that's out of the family then. Um, are you going to try to talk to that guy in Florida? No. <coughs> Let's see what happens. <coughs> Excuse me. So are you smoking pot? No, I'm eating. <laughs> I have... What the fuck? It sounds like you're smoking pot. Well, I, I choked on some food. I see. Well, I'm not there to give you the high much, so be careful. Yeah. Well, that's all the fire. How are you? Maybe. Yeah. How are you doing? How's yeah. your how's the um how's your uh your health? Your 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 hips haven't popped back out of your joints again? Uh, they came close. I tripped over a rug. Something like that at work. Oh. It was, I walked through a doorway and fucking his rug was rolled over to where there's a fucking it was sticking up six inches, just rolled over halfway in half, you know. Yeah. So it wasn't it wasn't flat, and I had my foot caught on it, and I about fucking that about fucked me up. But I'm okay, so fuck it. Yeah. Well. I'm, I thought it was gonna fuck me over, but it didn't totally. So fuck it. A little bit. Your hips okay? You you ever? What about that? Like the same back injury that like kept you down for so many years? That thing's not flaring up at all. That's still fine. No, it's still fine. Isn't that still I'm doing pretty, pretty damn good? Pretty damn good. What I'm doing. Isn't that still kind of like amazing that you were? It was so messed up for so long, and suddenly it's all better. Still. Yeah, I so, fucking whacked so, out. Seems like you would fall back into it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, but, yeah. Nope, I, I almost did whenever I was fucking working too hard, trying too hard. Yeah, don't try too hard. But, hey, you know, I was feeling so good, I was like, nothing to fuck me over now. Did they see you fall, <laughs> did your co-workers or the people at your work, did they see you fall over? No. They're not gonna. They're gonna like mob I didn't you. Fall over. I didn't fall over. I just kind of chip walked. They could mob you or something. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just just a little bit. Not all the way down. Just like a little stumble. Yeah. Mm. Well, it was more than just a stumble because I tripped pretty good, but uh, I just walked out of it. So. Did you? Did but you? It was enough to fucking jerk my muscles around. That's for sure. Oh yeah. So you didn't go down though. Just a little stumble or a big stumble. A big stumble, a yeah. medium to large stumble, and uh, I wasn't ready for it. That was part of the deal. And your hips are okay, though. Wasn't, yeah. ready. wasn't ready to trip. Yeah. Well, who? You can't be ready. Otherwise, that's not a trip. Well, they almost, I almost tripped. But not quite. Yeah. So you got to get pretty in the early in the morning to trip me. We've been, uh, I've been playing your old messages from years ago when you left, like, a bunch in a row. Right. Yeah, so you can go you back. You never finished doing that? Oh, I, I started doing it again. Um, why? <laughs> I don't know. I just thought I was feeling like uh, I wanted to look back into the past because I listened to a bunch of your recent ones and then I ran out and I was like, oh, let's just listen to some from years ago. And they're pretty... Uh, I see. Yeah, they don't really. Um, they're never very no, top. No more. They, they're not no. No, I would say the opposite because they're not very topical, really. So. Right. They're pretty. It's timeless, so you can go see that one. You you have YouTube still. I uh, know my data time ran out, and I only oh. paid seventy five bucks. For yeah, and you're all paranoid about, about your phones. Out. You you kept. Yeah, you, seven, you thought your and phone? then them fuckers, they keep wanting to know who the fuck you are, where you're at, when you're at. Yeah. Fuckers want to fucking listen in on your conversations. They want to go through all your fucking uh, photographs. Yeah. Uh, whenever you call somebody, they fucking know um, who you call, fucking how long you talked for, what you talked about. Fucking... Yeah. They get they get to know all that shit. They can turn on your fucking camera. They get to they can fucking listen in. Yeah. That's what the rules. That's what the rules fucking say. Yeah. Fuck you. Well. That's what I say. Yeah. 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 But I ain't into that. That's you know that thing you go whenever you go to 
jail and you get put on house arrest and they put a bracelet on your ankle. Yeah, it's like that. It's like that, except for it's like voluntary that. Fuck that shit. Yeah, everybody, they know where that. they know where you're all, all the time. You got to be good because they're watching you all the time, well, no matter what. I'm always good, but <laughs> yeah. you no, know, I try to be. They're watching. They got they got eyes on you, even if you're not. Uh, even if you don't have your own camera, everybody around you's got them anyway. So. Right. Well, who gives a fuck about that? Well, I don't want them looking in on my camera, watching me smoke pot, or if I can watch, listen to my conversation with whoever's in the room with me. Yeah. Fuck that shit. Well, but if you even if you don't have well, it, I always take my phone and hide them in some box that can't fucking hear shit. <laughs> yeah, but they have it. You're, the people, other people in the room have your, their phones, and they can hear. Uh, fuck them. Yeah. I tell them take your phone outside. Yeah. Yeah. Do you do that? Take that whenever you leave. You think that? I mean, the phones they can record me. I don't care. I'm not doing any. I don't know, have anything to hide. Right, well, I just don't want them hearing about anything that I'm saying because I sometimes say a lot of things that would be considered uh, uh, intellectual property. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna steal your ideas. Fucking a, fuck, dude. I was talking to my uncle on uh, just before Christmas one year, and I was telling him I had this thing, and I was kind of explaining it, and he was guessing about it. And like one or two days later, they come out with shoes that are siped. They're what? All right. Sipe. You know what siping is? No. Okay, it's whenever you take your tires on your car and you put little slices in them. Yeah. So that they can grip the road better in wintertime and shit. Yeah. Well, um, it was kind of uh, what we were talking about, and it was just a couple of days later, and here they popped up on TV, and I'd never seen that shit before, and it was right after I fucking... Talk to him about it, and then look, and there it pops up on TV. They're selling type shoes. What's the difference between that and just like regular shoes that are already kind of like that? They're already like segmented rubber. Well, they've got a lot of cuts in the bottom of them, so the freaking like uh, they don't won't lose grip too easy. Yeah, all right. You think that they they heard your idea and then they turned it around real fast and made a commercial within like two days? Fucking A. They jumped right fucking on that shit. And how do they know you're going to have an idea before that? Or maybe now they're listening to, to get your ideas again? They just listen in. And whenever they hear the good shit, they go, fuck, we're doing that for he has chance. He's broke, motherfucker. Yeah. And uh, we got money, so if I want to do it, we're, we're, there you go. We make money. He don't. Fuck you. I stole your idea. Were you, were you going to... um? You were going to go publish your shoes or whatever? You are going to sell it, make, make the shoes? Yeah. That was your big uh, chance. That was one of my ideas that just went south as soon as I fucking seen it two days later. I was like, fuck you, man. Yeah. That, that really got me curious about that. And then whenever I got that phone recently and it popped up, but here's the rule... And Google once, and then Google was saying, I'm looking at watching this one thing on on the internet or whatever, on YouTube, and Google popped up and says, this um, app won't run without Google, and then it, then it wouldn't let me into the app, so I fucking reset my phone, the factory settings, and uh, then fucking uh, I watched... I, I still use the fucking bullshit just like it without the fucking Google. Yeah. Right? Yeah, Google's they're recording. Well, Google, Google lied to me. They just wanted me to let them listen in on my conversations turn my fucking camera on any time they want and they just wanted that shit to go down. Yeah, they probably just want to hear what you're saying they're going to advertise at you. Whatever, like the fucking motherfuckers. Yeah, I ain't paying for that shit. No, no, but yeah, you know, yeah. you know, so you you don't have any internet internet anymore. No. You keep your phone though. I got the phone, but 
it's locked away with the dead battery shit, so I don't give a fuck. Yeah. All right. And we're going to record a message to the future. All right. Yeah. All right. yeah. Wait, here we go. Hey, future, it's us, the past. Are you positive? Are you sure we ain't from the future future? Yeah, we're, we're in a big loop. Yeah, what do you have to say to the future? Watch out, past. Watch out, future. Here I fucking come, motherfucker. All right, bye, future. Uh, yeah, well. Yeah, pick up. Have you seen these messages? Have you been, when you watch the program a little bit when you had your phone? Yep, yep. We're recording the messages and looking at them the next day. Right, well, I was watching. Yeah, we're going to remember the past. Yeah, I'm not. So, fucking, what do you do? Yeah. Like I say, I saw Lucas, so I know who Lucas is now. Yeah, you can see him, if you see him on the street. <laughs> what if I see him on the street, I can see that he's kicking right in the cunt. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you okay? <laughs> Coughing up something. Did you quit smoking? Didn't you say you quit smoking? Well, for the most part, I'm still smoking a little bit. <laughs> yeah. That's what happened last time. I don't think you... Uh, why, why, why are you trying to even cut back? <laughs> why? Well, when I'm at work, I don't smoke at work, really, except for lunchtime. Yeah? And, uh, once I get home, I don't have a couple hours to do anything before I got to go freaking sleep, so... I don't really got much time for smoking. Uh, they don't let you smoke at work, or you gotta go, is it a hassle? No smoking at work, no. They don't allow smoking? No. Oh, wow. Prisoners don't eat. They yeah. They don't want you smelling like food prisoners, and they don't want you giving prisoners cigarettes. And... Yeah. That's like the new, uh, the, the, no, the, no, no smoking. That used to be what everybody had. Now they take it away, they can't do that at work. That's probably good, though. Yeah, yeah. So you gonna you're not trying to quit smoking or anything though. No, you just haven't had the time. That's pretty much it. So you still smoke? A lot less time. Don't get that making money. Yeah. No, and smoking is expensive too. Yeah, I suppose. Well, it's not so. Handy. It's not so expensive in Oregon though. No, it's still fucking expensive. Oh yeah. It's expensive as all hell. Fucking, it's it's horrible. Tobacco's not worth fucking six dollars. It's worth like two dollars, <laughs> but they charge six for it. Fuck them, fuck. Yeah, well, they, it seems like if you you gotta buy it if you want it. It's like a, it's different. It's changed now. You gotta buy it, and it's like a not not so ubiquitous to go buy it everywhere. Right. Yeah. So you're not gonna try to quit though. Maybe you're gonna try to quit, or you're gonna keep going. Cause I thought you, I thought maybe you said that you had quit or something in the message. Well, maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't remember. Um, if if I ever get with a good chi- hot chick, freaking don't smoke or oh, would yeah. rather I not. Um, oh, cause your teeth, cause your teeth got removed or something, right? Your how's your tooth? Well, it's not from smoking. <laughs> that's why you weren't smoking, because the the, dent, the dentist told you. That's why I wasn't smoking, because I fucking had to fucking not smoke for four days. Yeah. I got my teeth up. And that, how'd, that, that, how'd that go? And that was horrible, but fucking I'm smoking again, so yeah. it's not so bad. Yeah, you know, like you, you, want, you wanted cigarettes or something. Um, But how's your tooth? Or your, your... Yeah, I wanted a cigarette the whole time. <laughs> Fuck off. How's your how's that spot in your mouth where your tooth was? Um, it's fine. Yeah. Pieces of corn and shit get caught up in there. It's kind of uncomfortable, but after it, a while it'll go away. Yeah, it's okay with smoking. The um, spot must be. Don't smoking don't bug it. <laughs> yeah. Right now. 
say you didn't take those four days off and, and you decide, like, that was good. Maybe I'm going to stop now. No, All that right. was only no, not a choice. That was uh, like in doctor's orders. Yeah, just after four doctor's days, you're, you're, you're like, I really want to smoke now. Yeah. In four days. Give it four days. That way you don't get the hollow jaw disease. And it's supposed to be pretty painful if you like, can have hollow jaw disease. So. Yeah, that that's and you get like an a, an infection in your right next to your brain. Yeah, um, yeah. I think it's caused uh, from doing too much sucking. They said don't suck through a straw or yeah. smoke. Yeah, that's so um, it's pretty much sucking. Don't suck on things. Yeah, you made it. You made it through. That's you. You didn't get the little dry socket or whatever they call it. That's right. Yeah. Was it wisdom too? There's one just one of those back teeth. Because remember, when I got my teeth pulled, you were very mean about it. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I couldn't help it. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was just trying to help you scare yourself and just freaking it being so painful. Yeah, you're like, you're going to get that rot and stuff. Uh, so you're going to get the rot, uh, hopefully. And it was going to be painful as fuck. And, uh, yeah. Was it, ever pain- was it ever hurt like motherfucker or no? It did not. It was fine. It was totally fine. Yeah, so was mine. Oh, yeah. I've never had that happen in my life. Oh, they, they-, they always gave me, like, some sort of shot. And then they'd start drilling, and I'd be feeling the whole thing the whole time. And then, like, an hour after I get home, I could punch myself in the jaw and not feel a fucking thing. But um, for while I was at the dentist, I felt everything. Fuck off. They put you under? No. <laughs> they fucking just give you a shot and start drilling or whatever. Yeah, Fuck yeah. That I know that you... fucking sucked. You this up. time, he fucking gave me a couple shots, and mm-hmm. then fucking, I didn't feel shit. And he was yanking around on my tooth, I guess, because he yanked it out. Yeah, he, uh, <laughs> could you feel him, like, tugging at your face a little bit? Uh, just a little bit, up in my temple. Yeah. I felt it up in my temple more than I felt in my jaw. Somebody didn't have to hold your head down or something? Like, if they're trying to pull your teeth out, like, somebody had to hold your head no, down? No, I just, I just held my jaw open and held my head against the freaking chair, and no big deal. All right, yeah. I did. I was going to step the freaking uh, handrails on that chair, but they're all wiggly. Yeah. I'm like, so well, that's not going to be very good. I can get the freaking right off. Yeah. Uh, but it turned out I didn't need to. Yeah, you left. You I le- just sat there with my hands in my lap, and there's no big deal. Cause it's better now. Cause you said like, who decides who changes, who decides who who gets shot up with what when you go to the dentist. You were talking about that in your message. Yeah, who does decide that? Cause whatever they was using suck corn holes and uh, whatever they're using now works. So whoever decided that bullshit was an asshole. Yeah, well, I think before. It's just like whenever they fucking whoever was an asshole fucking. Telling me I can't have fucking nothing for pain because it's all in my head. What a fucking asshole. He was a nice enough guy. He's a doctor. He's smart, supposedly. He went to school for 10 years. Fucking stupid cunt. Fucking yeah. telling me to paint in my head. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I could have I kicked him right between the legs, motherfucker, because except for I couldn't reach there by that time. Yeah, I can, though. <laughs> Watch out, motherfucker. Now I can reach you, but the crotch. You gonna go punch a doctor in the crotch? <laughs> no, oh. but fucking... I, you know... I would have liked to get back then. Um, Just because he wasn't listening. He wasn't helping. He wasn't doing nothing. Yeah. He was just... Just tooting his own horn. I went to college for 10 fucking years. I studied on all this bullshit, and it's the pains in your head. That's not a what very... What do you say to that? What do you say to that? You gotta send you to the psychiatrist. 
Yeah, he was. He's, 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 he's a fuck, you stupid cunt, motherfucker. Yeah, that's not very nice. Um, no. no. But he, like he, he probably gets a lot of people who are seeking pain killers like opiates or something. I don't know. give a fuck what he gets. Who's seeking what? I was in pain. I needed something for pain, and they never fucking helped me. Yeah. Fucking cunt. Fuck you. But now you're fine, fuck though. Them. What, fuck you. Fuck them, motherfuckers. Them stupid cunts. Yeah, but you're feeling. They're really pissed the fuck off. If they gave you those uh, drugs back then, then maybe you right now you'd be a, a drug addict and you wouldn't be like better because now you're all better. Well, I fucking would have appreciated being out of pain, and I would have then dealt with fucking not needing any painkillers now. Yeah, but I sure would have liked to fucking whenever I was dying, wishing I was dead, um, thinking about killing myself. Because fucking, there's nothing I could do. There's nothing, nobody would help. Nobody, no help. Yeah. And they got doctor. What the fuck's the doctor for? They had to administer just, drugs. I think if it's long-term pain, though, do you think that those drugs are really going to make you feel better because you're just, like, numbed out and and, uh, and you're and you can't get up anyway, but the the pain is, is there? But I, you, I'll tell you this. One time, whenever somebody was taking their a pill... And they dropped it, and it rolled over to me across the floor. And I took that little bastard, picked it up, put it in my mouth, ate it. Even though I'm a germaphobe and I hate things that have been on the ground. Yeah. I ate that fucker, and he looked at me and just fucking just went about his business, took his own little pill, and fucking, oh, within a half hour, my pain was mostly gone. Yeah, that's how it gets you, it was, though. It was so relieved. There was so much relief from that one little pill. Yeah, that's why it's the first time, you you know, it's real great, but then eventually you keep doing that often, and then that's when it starts getting worse and worse, and that's how you get into it in the first place. Oh, I don't fucking know, but feeling like you're okay and... It is so much better than fucking wanting to die. Yeah, I don't know. I think that the doctors I'll might have saved you, you from drug abuse. Uh, well, like I say, I'd rather be a drug addict now and not in pain then. Yeah. And have to deal with fucking getting off the drugs than fucking being in pain the whole fucking 18 years. Fuck you. Yeah. That fucking sucks. Yeah, that's how. Um, it, yeah, it's, it's yeah, probably my whole life. They should have fucking let. Maybe if they would have gave me the painkiller, my muscles would have relaxed enough. It would have popped in fucking on its own, fucking so much sooner. Yeah. Who can say that? Yeah, maybe. Well, at least you don't have to get those. You don't have to get that cybernetic stuff. And you know, would you ever go back to that doctor that wanted to like give you like weird like robot implants or something? Bruce. <laughs> Remember that that guy? You want he wanted to like put uh, screws in you. Yeah. Um. No, I I missed that by about two or three months. Did you ever go? Did you ever go back to the doctors and that were like looking at your back? No, and, I called them and told them, "Fuck, my leg popped back into my hip, so I don't need you no more." And they they didn't care. They were just like, "Okay, whatever," or they they didn't want to check it out. No, they never said nothing. I'm still, I still want to know about how that even could have happened. I think you should go back and, well, maybe it's kind of late now. Fucking, well, what, what, why would I go back to the doctor? Oh, I'm, you know, I'm better now. Why yeah. should I go back to the doctor? Yeah, well, I, I don't know. I wouldn't want to go back to the doctor either. I'm just like curious about how that could have even happened. Though it's still kind of like. Like what? 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 How? How did that happen to you? Is is uh, like that's why I would, like maybe the doctor can be like this is what happened because maybe you can tell what happened in the first place because it might I'm I think it might pop back in you know like it like one one day or out. Well, if it pops back out, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you can pop it back in. But if the doctors know what it is, then maybe you don't have to deal with it. But, uh, well, I'll tell the doctors that it popped back in at one point, and then maybe I did whatever, and it popped back out. Yeah. 
And, and I'll tell them the story, and if they think I'm some drug addict trying to get drugs, yeah, probably. Oh, it's pretty uh, like um, miraculous though that that you don't have any like long term negative effects from that whole ordeal. Oh, but I do have long term negative effects. What? Mentally. Yeah, you were mentally scarred, but I'm I mean, just. Mentally. Yeah, after you were in in bed. I'm not a drug addict, but I wouldn't mind killing a few people. Oh yeah, so, you, I'm sure you were saying that before too. I guess I don't know. I no, think. I was not. Only because of the pain. Yeah. Well, when? when only because. When did I you? I wouldn't mind dropping a few doctors off of this planet, motherfucker. Yeah. I mean, what the fuck? You're gonna kill somebody? When? When did you have your accident? In the first place. 2001. Oh, 2001. So you're already 10 years in. So we pretty much got like about half of it, about half of the whole the whole thing. When half of the whole thing. When you were all messed up. We were messed up for 10 years. Uh, about... 18. 18? More, eight, more 18 years. What year is this? Oh, yeah. Years? No, I was, I was thinking it was 2011. 2017. 2017 or 2018. 17. 17. 16 years then. It's oh, 2017. Yeah. It's 16 years ago. Not wow. 18 years ago. You were 16 years and uh, messed up, but then suddenly it's all better. Spent 16 years in bed, pop your leg back in, all, it's all better now. Fucking A. Yeah. What's up with that? It's, it's wild. It's wild, you're right. Yeah. I'm, I'm ready to actually do some hunting of people now, though. Yeah, you're gonna go. You're gonna murder what your teacher? I don't know that I'm gonna murder anyone. Um, uh, but I need to freaking hunt people down. That's for sure. You're gonna hunt them down and just talk to them, have a, and and communicate with them. I don't even know if I'm gonna talk to them. So you're gonna hunt them down. And look I at them. Do hunt them fucker down. Hunt them down and then have a meaningful conversation and you, maybe you can come to a consensus. And maybe not have any conversation at all. Uh, yeah. Well, we only, hunt them down. Yeah. We only have about three minutes left today. And I'll decide what to do after bullshit goes down somewhere else. And then... We'll see what the fuck goes down. I'd like to freaking know where people are before shit goes down. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna you're gonna stalk you're gonna stalk them. I ain't not gonna stalk them. You just find out pertinent information. Yeah, you been... so that later on I can not have to go hunting. <laughs> hey, I'll just go for a drive. <laughs> And see what's fuck, you know. I'm fucking. I'm. I can't really say shit to him. Yeah. Uh, All right. Hey, uh, thanks for talking to us today. The show's pretty much over. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Hey. Bye. All right. Bye then. <laughs> hey, there it goes, Mr. Ginsu. Wow. I'm gonna look at this. Oh, there it is. We're not going to look at anything. It's the credits. Hey, they got a fish. Thanks for watching. Saturday. We're on every night on 1130 and 2 a.m. Check it out. Yeah. YHWM.com online. Yeah. 360-836-4384. Call me a message. Get on TV. Hello, shrimps. Here's our address. You can send us a letter. Graham Graham. It's a good song. Thank you. TCTV, LaBebe, Jordan E, Fabulous, Graham Graham, StopTheSpot.com, John Webster, Thurston County, Washington State, USA, thank you. Viewers, that's you, you're watching, thank you. Hell yeah, dog. 
bye